It is my pleasure to bid you welcome to the bazaar. Come in, for the night air is chill, your wallet heavy, and our goods plentiful. Bring us your wealthy, your rich, your fool purses. And if you can't afford it, just stay away. This has been a Monster Army production. <laughs> hey, R.I.P. is back! Are y'all listening? This one is for the newly in love. Hope your heart's not gonna bleed too much. Ow! Please, I assure you, your bizarre shopping experience is completely safe. You may have folks fooled, Amanda, but not me. I know something is fishy, and I'm leaving. Shame. Ah, over here, friends. Welcome. Salutations and assorted felicitations. Welcome to the bazaar, the marketplace of the unusual. You can purchase an entrance pass at the door from our esteemed hosts, the Monster Army. Or, if you lack the funds, simply find an established merchant to vouch for you. Oh, a misunderstanding, I assure you. There have been some troubles in the bazaar of late. But nothing our esteemed hosts, the Monster Army, can't resolve. I assure you, inside the bazaar awaits a satisfying and secure shopping experience. Up the ramp, you'll find the door to the bazaar, covered by a vehicle. My name is Ananda Rabindranoth, Mannerite missionary, merchant, and your humble servant. I was assigned to answer any questions you may have. Felicitations. It is common wisdom to keep one's mouth shut when one lacks courteous things to say. Truly, I find the very idea of smuggling people... If I were a less discreet person, I'd suggest that you drive out to the old parking garage down the road to the north. Who knows? You may find your answers there. Ah, I thank you. It is a pleasure to meet people... I endeavored to provide the teachings of Mr. Manners to those inside the bazaar. Alas, they seem to prefer that I spread the good word out here instead. A folly, I think. But who am I to question our gracious hosts? You do seem like people of refined taste, without a doubt. But a man of class does not abandon his employer at an inopportune moment. Friends, go inside. Speak to Mr. Jacob Martin, or as others call him, Flab. When the bazaar is safe again, my conscience will be clear, and I will be most pleased to join you. Naturally, I have a variety of goods for sale that could suit your needs. This way, friends. Welcome to the bazaar, little lambs. Behave yourselves. Can't wait until lunchtime so I can grab some pork buns. Listen up, mashers. The next son of a bitch who says we're losing this war gets strung up by his nuts. You hear me? It doesn't matter how much territory we've lost. There's only one way inside the mall. As long as we control it, Buchanan can't touch us. He can sit out there with his army and pound snow for all I care. All we gotta do is hold out. The lamb and the wolf got different needs. Sooner or later, Buchanan will have to negotiate. And then we'll have him right where we fucking want him. If 
If civilization collapses, all of Colorado Springs will look like this. You'd think with you all these people to waiting to get in, get the bazaar would be. Felicitations. But of course. Saving up for an access pass. Can you believe how much those things are? Howdy, strangers. Name Six Fingered Larry. Hunter. Though, it seems you find me plumb out of wares. I've only got five fingers on each hand, same as anyone else. Maybe it's got something to do with the fact I'm good with my hands. <laughs> I'm not the sword who'd kiss and tell, though. Him? <laughs> you don't want him. Barrett's got a bit of an attitude problem. Tried to peck his way through a kid's skull the other week. If you insist, though, you'll have to talk to Polly yourself, because I got no say in what he's going to do. Only that they make more money than I do. Bastards. But to answer your question, nah, I'm an honest businessman. I don't waste my time with criminals. Why don't you try the Mannerite? Yeah, the, the one with the suit. He knows all about the local lowlife. All right, it's your funeral. Hey, Polly, you hear that, old buddy? These fine folks would like to adopt you. How's that sound? My buddy, my pal, come closer. I'll show you how it sounds to me. Oh, shit. Damn it. That's how it fucking sounds to me, Larry. Sounds like some fucking bullshit. Wasting your time with this asshole. Talk to Polly. Talk to Polly. wants you to gag on weak old shit leaking from a dead guy's ass! <laughs> Piss off, Sitzmere. Piss less and shit for brains! <laughs> Someone has to stick around to make Larry's life miserable! <laughs> That's my job! I love that job! You hear that, Larry? Fuck you! <laughs> Shit, you're right, you circus reject. I mean, you look like someone grafted a squid to a diseased vulva. But when you're right, you are right. All right, he's yours if you pay the price. This sounds about fair, don't you think? Something's not right with you, but you have my respect. Enjoy the parrot, and let me know if you need anything else. Yes, finally free at last! <laughs> Larry, Larry, yes, 
shit's like! At last I can tell you with complete sincerity! Fuck <laughs> you! Hey, Polly. How have you been? A lot better for being free from your stink, you shit-stained cop! That's the Polly I know. And don't miss. What can I do for you? I'm no local, but ask me anything you want. I'll see if I can be useful. Me? Nah, I don't got the bona fides. That'd be Flab the Inhaler. He leads what's left of the monster army after the Patriarch gutted their ranks. As far as dictators go, he's actually not half bad. The bazaar? It used to be something else. Now, it's just old and fat, wheezing through its last days. Easy pickings. What's on your mind? Be seeing you. Please go talk to the doorman. I'm just here to record who goes really in. Really need to ask Piscatelli to look at my gun. Ah, bugger keeps jamming. Just keeping the chains greased up, lamps. A lamb stands at the door. <laughs> what sacrifice do they bring to the door of monsters? Sometimes we let Colorado's most famous in, but it's been years since such an exception was made. Then you don't come in. This door is controlled from the inside, so you're stuck out there until you get your pass. Huh, that's nice. Doesn't mean shit to me. But I'm happy for you. More than it should, honestly. But that's what happens when one party has a monopoly on supply. Sorry. Anyway. Stay warm. And wait until lunchtime so I can grab a lamb stands. Ah, uh, you again. Oh, makes equals of monsters and lambs. You've bought yourself passage to the bazaar. We will send your prize up shortly. Right. You can come. Behave yourselves, my little lamb. What's going on? Are, are we under attack? Uh, no, no, I'm sure we're not under attack. Fuck. 
I swear, I only opened the Warren's gate for one second and that fucking pig bolted by me. Uh, uh, d don't worry, folks. Uh, the bazaar is secure. Uh, move along, everyone. Ah, new visitors! Don't fret. Come and hear about the marvels of the bazaar. Guns sanctified with blood, blood sanctified by gun. Fresh lambs, esteemed guests. The door guard informed me you were coming. You are most welcome to all the delicacies and pleasures the bazaar has on offer, provided you have the coin. Ah, I hope you're not shaken by this disturbance. It is a minor matter, I assure you. Your shopping experience should be nothing short of completely safe. Please, please, lower your voice. I don't know, okay? Someone's been strapping explosives to real pigs. Real pigs, made up with real lipstick, real eyeshadow. I guess it's some asshole's idea of a- We'll find stay to the upper level in the back. They will take you to our esteemed leader, Flab. Talk to him if you want to know more. We have all kinds, all kinds indeed. Pichatelli sells weapons to any weary pilgrim. Gwyn Talbot is your woman if you need protective gear. Dr. Coldcuts can sell you medical supplies. Or, and in the central area, you'll find the Fountain Bar. A good place to kick back with a drink and some of Masato's delicious pork. Depends on your definition of fun. I'd recommend talking to Eidolon. She and her pals really know how to party. <laughs> but if you're a more cerebral type, check out Quarex's museum in the back. Enjoy your visit. Guns sanctified with hot noodles. I suggest you speak to Flab. Hot noodles. You're up, Barkeep. <laughs> I'll tell you when to quit. Mm -hmm. Hola, amigos. Como? Hey, pals. Finn is the name. If you need a drink, you've come to the right place. If you got questions, well, I suppose that's okay, too. Between you and me, I've been partaking in some taste tests during my shift, so everything is a little blurry at the moment. I did hear a lot. Not much. I'm pretty new. Just started a week ago. Rumor has it the old bartender mysteriously vanished into thin air. Anyway, this place is so- If you're here to work for Flab, then he might be able to tell you more. One thing's for sure, there's something weird going on here. Flab the Inhaler is the man who is large and in charge of the bazaar. And I ain't kidding you when I say large. From what I've seen, he's always in his office, just up the stairs. Ah, uh, I don't know. I suppose everyone's on edge, you know? They're all putting on brave faces like things are normal, but I can tell something is wrong. I just don't know quite what. Only the finest drinks on Earth. My friends, you saw that explosion too? Horrible! Such a waste of good pork. And human life, of course. But don't worry, Masato... Yes, yes! Be my guest! After enjoying this bowl, know that my store is open to you. I have a variety of goods that you may find useful. A man who never eats pork is never a whole man. But I have to tell you, my friends, these noodles are a pale imitation of the real thing. The great pre-war delicacy. The rarest of rare magics. Instant ramen noodles. I hope one day I will perfect my recipe to- Ah, you picked up on my subtle hints. 
Years ago, a friend in Colorado Springs gave me a package of instant ramen noodles that he had found in the Warrens underneath the bazaar. The experience changed my life forever, and I moved here in hopes of finding more. The Warrens aren't safe. I can't venture down there. But you must understand, it is as if my body is made of ramen. If you go down in the Warrens, please keep your eyes open for this rare delicacy. Oh, how interesting. You mean a permanent position? A full kitchen of my own? You have my interest for sure. But as I explained to you, I'm here for a reason. Bring me the ramen noodles and I'll gladly join you at your HQ. There've been a lot of troubles of late. People disappearing, showing up dead. And now this exploding... I'm not sure if you'd be willing to help, but you look like you might be able to. If you're up for it, go talk to Flab, the, the guy in charge. You could find him upstairs. Naturally. My store is always open to you, my friends. Hot noodles, hot noodles. Up, Keep. I'll tell hot you noodles. to quit. Mm -hmm. You hear the stories about the killer clown? They say he eats kids. I love, I, I love this place. You can find most anything uh, if been you know where to hours. Oh, my feet are killing me. I'm tired of shopping. We missed Go to the arcade. Oh, these Wonder are perfect. if I can get this in black. But they're too small. Patriarch himself shops here sometimes. That's the kind of flu, right? I was working into that. Oh, I wish they served chicory here. Ugh, why? It tastes like boiled tree bark. Thank you. 